My perspective on Earth changed dramatically the very first time I went into space. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And I remember launching from the Kennedy Space Center and about 11 minutes into the flight, I raised my seat up and I saw this big island coming up. The big island turned out to be the continent of Africa. There were no lines. It was just one big body. I was technically incredibly well qualified. I was emotionally a wreck. I just was not prepared to see my planet and the continent from which my ancestors had come and I wept. I, I, was, I was overcome with emotion. You know, I flew four times. Every time I flew, while the familiarity with the environment became sort of natural, the wonder and awe of it never changed. My second flight, when we deployed the Hubble Space Telescope, we were 400 miles, 600 kilometers above Earth, and that's farther than humans have been other than going to the moon. And from there, you see almost all of Earth at any given time. I remember flying over the Middle East, looking down at how peaceful it looked and how beautiful it looked, and then being shaken into reality, understanding what was going on down there, and, and you ask yourself why. You know how it should be because you're looking at it the way it ought to be, so why isn't it? And you challenge yourself that when you come back to Earth, you're gonna do everything in your power to make it the way it ought to be, the way it was intended to be.